Mouse support is coming to iPad OS. Uh, this is the next version of the operating system that will be running on the iPad. Right now it's currently in beta, but will be out in the fall. Now mouse support is an accessibility feature. It's not a general feature and you're not gonna find it in the general area of the settings and you can't just pair a mouse uh, via Bluetooth and you're good to go. You actually have to go into accessibility, assistive touch and turn that on. Now, assistive touch, you've probably seen this before, it turns the little square on in your screen. You can actually go into the accessibility settings, assistive touch again, and turn that off so that when a mouse is paired with your iPad, that square does not show up. To pair a mouse with your iPad, you just go into the Bluetooth settings, put it in however the pairing mode for that mouse works, and pair it. Once you have it paired, you can actually go back into the accessibility settings, assistive touch, and you can program what each button does on the mouse. The more buttons a mouse has, the more it can do. It can do things like normal clicking, open the dock, go home, open notification center, control center, all sorts of different things. But it can also run shortcuts. This is really cool. It basically just gives you the notification, but it expands it automatically for you and allows you to just click run. Once you click run, it'll just go through whatever shortcut you want it to go through with. Overall, that is a really cool feature. I've been wanting, well, basically ever since Apple bought Workflow, a global system-wide keyboard shortcut scheme for me to be able to trigger a shortcut from wherever. Uh, this is kind of that, but not exactly. Now, before you leave a comment, I did try one of the gaming mice that had like 10 buttons on the side. It unfortunately didn't work. Those are typically, you know, uh, considered like keypads or mostly like actual like keys, like like a keyboard would be, and you have to program those. Uh, they're not actual normal mouse buttons, or they don't at least show up in iPad OS as normal mouse buttons. If there happens to be a mouse with like a number pad or a keypad with a bunch of extra buttons on the site, and you know it works with iPad OS, let me know down below. I want to check that out. In settings, if you go into Control Center, you can actually add the accessibility shortcut to Control Center. From here, you can use Control Center to toggle assistive touch on and off, making it a lot faster to turn it on and off when you have a mouse paired or unpaired. So what's my favorite mouse to use? It's this one, the Logitech MX Master Mouse. Now, this mouse right here is amazing. It has five buttons that iOS or iPad OS can recognize. Uh, great scroll reel, lots of options, really cool mouse. Now this is the generation one one. There is a gen two one. I have that one as well. It's a great mouse. The generation two one's great. Um, the scrolling's a little bit better on it. The sensor's upgraded. But for the most part, honestly, if you're interested in getting this mouse, I would save yourself some money and just buy the generation one. Um, last I was looking, it was like a 30 or $40 difference between the two. This one's great. Um, you have your left, your right click, your middle click, and then there's two buttons on the side. If you're familiar with this mouse, you know there's where your thumb goes, there's another button. For some reason, iPad OS does not recognize that button. I'm not entirely sure why that button is different than all the other ones on the mouse, but um, no matter what I do, iPad OS doesn't seem to recognize it. But overall, great mouse, really comfortable to use. It's ergonomic-ish. Um, a lot more ergonomic than something like the Magic Mouse. Um, but not too ergonomic, like a true ergonomic mouse, you like hold it like sideways compared to this and it has like a ball that you, you know, have to, I hate those mice. Those mice are terrible. If you need them, I'm so sorry. Like that, I hate them. I absolutely hate those mice. So yeah, but this mouse, Logitech MX Master Mouse, it's my favorite mouse. This is the mouse though I've been using on my desk. It's too big for my bag. I use a, a 20 liter backpack, so it's not super big. Um, in, you know, you only have so much space in your bag. And this is a big mouse. It's, it's huge, it takes up a ton of space. So, I have been using the Logitech MX Anywhere Mouse. Now, I, I will be completely honest, this is the second time I recorded this video. I postponed this video because I was kind of going through like portable mices and just couldn't find anything that I liked. And then I remembered this thing exists. Uh, I've used it before in the past and I don't even know why it didn't come up in my research, but it's got a really slim profile. It's in the same family as the MX Master Mouse, MX Anywhere, MX Master. Slim profile, five buttons. My only gripe is it requires micro USB to charge. Same thing with the MX Master Mouse. 
Personally, I would like to see this to have USB-C so I could just, you know, use the same cable that I charge my iPad Pro with to charge this thing. That would be awesome. This would be the perfect mice then. It's portable, it's light, five buttons, that's great. My other complaint about it though is this button right here on, on this mouse, the master mouse right here, this is the master mouse, that's the middle click right there the, when you click in on the scroll wheel. When you click in on the scroll wheel on this one, that changes the kind of scrolling it does. This black button's the, the middle click button. Well, this black button on the MX Master Mouse changes the scrolling. So both part of the MX family, both have very similar button layouts, but these two buttons that are basically identical to each other do two very different things on the same series of mouse, which kind of throws off how I use them. I keep hitting the wrong button on this mouse just because I've used this one for so long and I'm used to this one. I keep hitting the wrong button on this one. So um, that's taken some getting used to, but I like how slim this one is. It's easy, it fits in my bag. I don't have any issues with it. It doesn't take up a bunch of extra space when you know my bag is full or anything like that. So if you're looking for a mouse for your desk, MX Master Mouse. If you're looking for a portable mouse, MX Anywhere mouse. Now I did have a couple of other mices I found. So this one right here, this Hitachi wireless mouse, I hate the design of this mouse. This was kind of my portable mouse because it had USB-C. So this was the only mouse in my research that had a slim profile, charged via USB-C, and connected via Bluetooth. That was very disappointing. I hope we get some more mice in the future that charge via USB-C because that that was that was bu that was a big bummer. Now I will note this is the second one I've gotten. The first one I got off Amazon uh, broke after about a day's worth of use. It just completely stopped working. Um, I sent it back to Amazon. They replaced it. Um, it was fine, but you know, that was, that was kind of a bummer. Hopefully that's not, you know, a widespread issue. Hopefully I just got, you know, a bad one, but um, yeah, just keep that in mind. But other than that, I've had this thing for over a month now. It's worked fine. It's been fine. I just hate the design. It's not ergonomic at all. It's only got three buttons you can use. It's, it's fine. If you really want something that charges via USB-C, this is it. This is pretty much your only option. Now, if you have a wired mouse that you're really attached to, no, no pun intended, um, but if you're really attached to a wired mouse, you can use USB mices, USB-A mices. You just have to get the appropriate adapter for whatever iPad you have. This is just a standard Logitech one. Uh, I ordered this one before WWDC because it was rumored that mouse support was coming and I wasn't too sure if it was going to have um, Bluetooth support or if it was just going to be wired only. So I just wanted to have something just to be on the safe side. Um, but wired mice do work. So that's, that's good to know. So this last one's kind of funny for me. If you go into the accessibility settings, assistive touch, go to where all the, the mouses live and stuff like that. There's a little note saying that the magic mouse and magic trackpad are not supported via Bluetooth. What's funny is the, to plug in the magic mouse, you have to plug it in at the bottom. So I'm not sure how you'd use it, not over Bluetooth, but as far as the mouse support through accessibility and assist assistive touch with like a cursor and everything, you can't really use the Magic Mouse and I don't have a Magic Trackpad to try it plugged in. But anyways, those are the mice that I've been using. Like I said, MX Anywhere mouse for portability. It's kind of pricey. I think this was around 50 bucks, but it goes on sale a lot. MX Master Mouse for desk use. Um, the second generation goes on sale a lot. This one's quite a bit uh, cheaper. Those are my two recommendations personally. Um, Satachi mouse, if you must have something that charges via USB-C. And then, you know, if you're really attached to a wired mouse, you can use that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.